So let's talk about sonar in general. You know, what is sonar? You know, sonar is basically a frequency that is sending out a signal, going down and, and hitting something. You know, it's going to hit a fish, it's going to hit a rock, it's going to hit the bottom, and it's going to return. And basically, the when the signal goes out, the, the processor calculates how long it takes to go, what that return looks like, and then it basically gives it an image. The, the thing that we're starting to see is different frequencies, you know, for our, our side and our down and our, our imaging versus our 2D sonar, you get, you're seeing these higher frequencies. So let, let's talk about what a higher frequency means. A higher frequency basically is just how much, how quickly the signals go out after each other. So frequency literally means frequency, how often. And so higher frequency means I'm sending a signal quicker than I would be um, at a lower frequency. That's, you know, in layman's terms, if you will, that's, that's basically what that means. The problem with higher frequency is you do not get the penetration in deeper water. So here on the inland lakes, our version of deeper water is, is much different than if someone was in coastal. You know, if I tell someone I'm in 30 to 50 foot, we're gonna kind of consider that deeper where I'm at I go up north to some of the, you know, the Great Lakes, or if I go off the coast, and they're going to call that shallow. So for this purpose, let's call deeper water, you know, 30 to 50 feet. Higher frequencies have a problem, you know, have a harder time penetrating that deep because if you think about, if you've ever been driving down the road and you hear a, a song, you know, if you hear someone, and what I always say, we call it bumping, you know, you can hear that bass just thumping. Bass is at a lower frequency, so it penetrates further. You can hear it from a greater distance. You can hear that bass going off, but you cannot hear the words that are being sung to that song. So your lower frequencies, like your 2D sonar, for example, you know, that, that are running the 85 kilohertz, 83 kilohertz, that's really good for that, that deeper penetration. Now there's some other factors in there, size of the transducer, the power uh, that is being provided by that transducer, but the principle holds, holds true across the board. So if I've got that 2D sonar at that lower frequency, I'm going to penetrate deeper. Same thing if I'm using my imaging, I may not want to run it up in that, that upper hertz range of the, of the transducer. I may want to, if I'm out there in deeper water, I'm going to want to run that in that, the lower range of the transducer. You know, so you know, guys think, oh, the, the higher the frequency, the better the image. That is true in shallower water, but when I get out there in deeper water, I may have to drop it back down to my 455 kilohertz to get my better image. You'll notice that you're starting to get outside of the penetration range if you're in that deeper water when your image starts graying out. You know, it starts kind of darkening out, it starts fading on you. At that point, you say, hey, I need to change this to a lower frequency. So the other thing when it comes to, to our, our imaging versus our 2D sonar is our 2D sonar is always going to show fish better than our imaging is. Now, I'm not saying imaging will not show fish because it does and we use it all the time, but imaging, you know, you're down and your side is more for structure and coverage, you know, locating those brush piles, those tire reefs, that, that rock, that ledge. The, that lower frequency doesn't blow through the fish. And, and we're going to include a graphic in this, in this video to, to kind of show you how a 2D cone works and why we see the arches you know and uh, so i hope this helps you know this is this is you know real basic level um but we've got to start somewhere before we can go to the you know go to the next step of of building on that so i hope this you find this helpful and stay tuned for more info